Hello everybody, good evening, and it is I, the Beast, and welcome to Storytime with the Beast. My special guest is 4th of July, Snoopy. Hey y'all. So, did you have a happy Independence Day, by the way? Oh, I sure did. It was, it was nice. Saw some fireworks, too. Yeah, fireworks are always fun to look at. Did you have a good 4th of July, too, Beast? Oh, I sure did. I spent it at the castle with... Lumiere, Cosworth, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and Belle, and Maurice and Philippe. And um, we watched some beautiful fireworks and had a wonderful cookout. Oh, that's always nice. Oh yeah, we did play some games. That must have been a lot of fun. So, what's today's story we're going to be looking at? Well, tonight's story we're going to be reading is called Another Living Book. Another Living Story Book called Sinbad. The Sailor. Sounds interesting. So, without any further ado, let the story begin. Sinbad the Sailor. What better way to see the world? Mused a poor Persian lad named Sinbad. Than to sail the seven seas, he left his native village with the little more than the clothes on his back. But by the time he returned, but by the time he returned, he had more than one marvelous adventure on his voyages which took him to many a strange isle. One was not an island at all. He and his shamans had gone ashore to rest and wash their clothes, when suddenly the earth be beneath them trembled as a, as a huge whale they had mistaken for an island plunged into the sea. Sinbad was tossed like a matchstick on the waves for a day and night. Wow, that poor sailor dude. Poor little Sinbad. And this story came out in 1967. That's a long time ago. Oh yeah. Beautiful artwork in this book. It sure is. <clears throat> the next morning, Sinbad found himself washed up on a lonely desert island. It was so dark it seemed to him as if night had come. But he found the darkness was caused by the wings of a rock. A bird so huge it could easily scoop up. An elephant. He decided to t to tie himself to the bird's foot, foot, so that when it left the egg, it was hatching to seek food and might carry him aloft its flight. Man, Sinbad's having a lot of adventure so far. <laughs> he sure is. High above the earth rose Sinbad. High above the earth rose Sinbad before the rock descended into a steep mountain. The valley, its floor covered with diamonds and snakes. Now, six are very scary. He despaired of being able to escape where he was startled to see a piece of meat tossed down from the cliffs above. He noticed that the eagle swooped down to snatch the meat and some of the diamonds that had been embedded. So this was how the diamond merchants obtained their jewels. He soon tied himself to a piece of meat and in this way, thanks to the eagles, escaped from the Valley of the Snakes. Smart thinking, Mr. Sinbad. <laughs> After sale, selling the diamonds he stuffed in his pockets, Sinbad was invited to sail home with the diamond merchants. But alas, when the ship passed near the rock islands, the merchants, despite Sinbad's warnings, cracked the enormous white egg and roasted the young bird inside with a loud squawk. Squawk! The parent rock flew over the ship and dropped over a big boulder, splitting the vessel into a thousand pieces. The ship was wrecked, but Sinbad swam ashore to a near to a nearby tropical island. That's what an island is. <laughs> Here he met a bent old man who begged him to carry him back to carry him on his back across the steam so that he might pick some fruit. Once he was on Sinbad's Sinbad's back, he would not get down, but Sinbad made some wine from the grapes he found on the island, and when the old man of the sea had tasted it, he fell to the ground, and Sinbad ran away as fast as he could. Oh, we got some monkeys in here. Not long afterwards, he found himself on an island of beautiful coconut palms. The trees had such tall, smooth trunks that only monkeys could climb them to reach the coconuts. Clever Sinbad picked up a few pebbles and began to pelt the monkeys with them as fast 
with him as they sat chattering amongst themselves. The monkeys in turn began to throw coconuts back at him. <laughs> and in no time, he collected a large bag full. <laughs> so Sinbad was trying to fight off the monkeys. So with the help of the monkeys, Sinbad the sailor became a coconut merchant and in the course of many voyages, traded coconuts for spices and pearls. When he returned home, at last he was a very rich man. And for the rest of his long life, he loved to tell of his marvelous adventures to everyone, even the poor porter who swept his courtyard. And that is the end of Sinbad the Sailor and his wonderful adventures. So... If you all have any more information about this book, just leave us a comment on the video and we'll respond to all your comments as soon as possible. Remember to keep subscribing to us for more videos and we will see you up, see you on our next video. Remember, as always, keep subscribing to us for more videos and we'll see you very soon. Just gotta make the time place to make more videos for your entertainment. All right, y'all. I will see you next time on the next story time with Beast. Let me know. Let me let me know in the comments what you want me to do my next story on. Give me some suggestions. That way we can start reading new classic stories to share. Yes, definitely. Alrighty, y'all. This is for the July Snoopy and Beast saying, Have a good night, sleep well, and have sweet dreams. Take care. Bye-bye.